Morning guys. Slade with you today. Hey, have I introduced y'all to my new pet? Look. That's Billy Bob the Coon. And he's always he's always watching over these guys that are getting in this saddle right here. Hey, I know a lot of my subscribers are not from the Starkville area here, but you should if any of you want to make a road trip or something like that, but especially you local folks, you need to come in and uh and uh try the whole saddle thing. I'm it's starting to grow on me. I <clears throat> I actually thought that the whole saddle hunting thing had kind of passed me by at my age and this and that. And some of you don't know, I was a lineman for about nine years. Uh so I spent a lot of time in a quote unquote saddle and climbing hooks and stuff like that. So anyway, I didn't know that I wanted to go back to that, but I really, 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 really am starting to like it. So let me show you what we got going on today. So I got a left-handed uh left-handed bow sold. I'm on I'm gonna get it fixed up. I have a right-handed bow sold. I have a Z9 right here that I gotta put strings and cables on. If if any of you don't know, so Matthews came out with the Z7 and then uh, they came out with the Z9. So the Z7 had seven inches of brace height. Again, we've talked about brace height from right here to the string. This Z9 has nine inches of brace height. So it allowed that long draw archer, say, you know, say you bought a Z7 that was 29 inches of draw, then the same cam, that was the Z7. So if, say I put a 29 inch, let's see what this is. So this is a 29 inch, let me turn it up right. 29 inch Z7 cam, but because of the two extra inches of brace height, this is actually a 31 inch draw bow. So anyway, great guy, Elk Hunter. I'm gonna put this uh, string and cable on for him. And then, you know, oh, back to this bow. So I sold all my left-handed bows. I had to order a new one. I got it in yesterday and then a guy come in and bought it. I got a couple of left-handed quivers. I got some more of the tight spot shift lock quivers in. I'm still gonna do a like a how-to video with this shift lock. I love, love, love this quiver. And then let me show you down here. Just just after the weekend, look at the bows. I mean, tons and tons and tons of bows. I mean, they're stacked double in a couple different cases. So I got lots of bows to work on. I hate to even bring this up, but I was just showing y'all all the bows in here. And look, first I want to apologize, okay, if I ever offend anybody on this channel. Because this is a family channel, and I don't mean to offend anybody. But I always, or I try, because I want to include you guys, walk through my little bow shop back here. Where, and if you don't know... I mean, so I have all my inserts here, okay? For all the different errors I have. I have Knox, I have Fletchings, I have just miscellaneous Matthews parts and pieces. Uh, if you don't know what those are, those are for the East and F uh, Axis errors. I have cams here. I keep a few strings and cables back here, okay? Not a lot, but a few. I keep all my... Uh, target tips back here, different sizes. I have my back stock of my quick fletch. You know, I have my, my paper tune target. Look, love my paper tune target. See how it just rolls out right there? It's pretty cool. When I get done with it, watch. It goes back flat. And then I have all my bows, okay? I want to apologize for this, but I had a guy comment on a video a day or two ago. If he was a customer, he would be pissed off that I, and that was his exact words. He would be pissed off that I showed the whole world names and telephone numbers. Guys. Come on now. I have 2,000, now let's just say 3,000 subscribers, okay? 3,000. I am freaking pumped about all 3,000 subscribers. I'd be even more pumped if I had 60,000 subscribers like the Ranch Ferry, but I don't. I can't get on the Ranch Ferry's channel. I can't get, there's lots of YouTubers I'd like to get with. If there are trolls out there, and I know there probably is, are watching Follow the Fanchers, good, wholesome family content, 
and you're watching a video and you scroll through and you see John Doe's name and phone number and then get your cellular device and call John Doe from my bow shop to aggravate him, then what are we doing? What are we doing, America? I mean, I just don't think, well, I can't say that because the guy that commented on my video, obviously he slowed it down enough he doing down across that little line right there, and he went, oop, stop. John Doe, 664-907-6318. Let me write that number down so I can text this person and aggravate them. So I don't even remember what video it was. I, th I think it was the video entitled, What Are Some Bow Shops Doing? Which, which is good. I think it's got over 4,000 views. It, it has done very well for me and my little channel. Uh... But I apologize if somebody calls you and he said something about spam, uh, spam phone calls. I thought where I live, spam something you eat, uh, comes in a can, you peel the top off of it, and then it comes out in a chunk and it's got gel around it. Uh, it's really pretty tasty. If you put it in a skillet with a piece of uh, hoop cheese, if you don't know what hoop cheese is, let's say cheddar cheese, put a piece of cheddar cheese on top of it and you cook it in a pan, it's pretty dang good, so. But if you get a spam call because of my famous YouTube posted your name and number on it, I apologize up front. And also I will true do my best to, do, to just be better. And when I'm scrolling along like this right here, I'm trying to show y'all everything and oop, so look, I'll try to turn that. So instead of this being like this, whoops, instead of it being like that, I'll try to do that. And I'll put my phone over it in case somebody can read upside down. So <laughs> anyway, we, we got to have fun. But man, there are apparently there are some nitpickers out there, even on us little bitty guys channel. So thank y'all for following the Fanchers. I'm fishing to get after it. And I'm going to show y'all some... Uh, some work here on a couple of bows. Oh, and guess what? I'm we I'm thinking we, me and Ridge Rock Outfitters are thinking about doing a bow shoot together. So y'all stay tuned. All right, so I got this Z9 in here. I wanna I wanna show y'all again. I, I don't I don't make fun of bows, but I wanna show you how he's way past time for a stringing cable. Way, way, way past. Now obviously this cat right here. I mean, he uses this bow. I like to see a guy use these bows. I'll tell you what, there's a couple of other issues. There's a little slack in this idler. I may take that axle out. It's not bad, but I can I can uh, feel it. If you look at his, these are called QCCs, and the new ones have Teflon in the inside of them right here. Because what happens when, when you draw this bow and whenever it puts a little pressure on them, those roll and they click. So I'm probably gonna put him some new QCCs on there. Uh, we can definitely do a little bit better serving job. But he's in dire straight needs of a, of a stringing cable. And look how dusty. I'm gonna clean this bow up a little bit for this guy too. So let me get these off and I'll get the new ones on and uh, we'll go to work. Look at his sight. I mean, super dirty, but it just means he uh, he uh, uses it a lot. But I use mine a lot too. But you know, it don't hurt to wipe on it a little bit. So let me get this off. Also, <clears throat> let me show you all this, guys. Please, 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 not just for my bow shop, but for all the bow shops across the country, don't put super glue on your serving. There's enough super super glue on this serving that you about can't cut through it, which it don't matter. He's getting a new string cable. This one's not any good. So I cut this string completely in two, but there's enough super glue all around this serving that, I mean, it's just, I about couldn't get it out. I promise it don't help or make a difference. So don't do it. No super glue. All right, so again, if y'all look, this bow is just, I mean, it's just filthy. And uh, again, just from use, and, and I feel bad about, about not uh not cleaning it up 
and I looked, if you look again at these QCCs, his are about had it, and they just, let me, let me show you if I can show you here. It just pushes down there and comes off the end of that axle. So let me, let me, let me show you something here. If you look at it and see how, how oblong, it's just, it's just gotten out of whack. Big groove there where it's been rolling over. So I look back here and I did have some of the new ones have flying on the back of them. It'll make it a whole lot smoother. It'll draw a lot better and on the inside and it won't pop. So once I get, see all that, it would be useless for me to put it on there and that being so, 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 so dirty. So I got a little, I got a rag here. I got some hot water. I mean, look at the difference. Once I, once I start cleaning, cleaning this up. So I'll, I'll have it in really good shape and then I can kind of start start putting things back together i'll oil it up all his little all his little parts and parts and pieces for him too all right if you look right in there see all that that dirt and grime there was actually a little small rock that was right in there so you do not need to put new strings and cables in there on that because it's just it's just extra friction and guys fishing a fishing a span a hundred i mean look right there look a guy's supposed to spend $150, $60 on stringing cables. You know, really, really, really need to clean that up. All right, I got the split bus on. Y'all can see I've cleaned it up a little bit, and I've got these new QCCs on there. It's going, and I'm, I'm telling you, I mean, he may not feel a difference, but it makes all the difference in the world the way that uh, this bow is going to shoot. Uh... It'll be a little bit quieter because, like I said, sometimes when you when you draw this, then the old ones would start clicking because they just get a groove in, and they, these will be super smooth. And uh, you see, I cleaned this cam up, got all that old dirt and mud and stuff out of there also. So I'm gonna finish getting this string and cable on, and it'll be uh, we'll be ready to shoot this thing. All right, so let me let me show you all the bow. It's always good when Derek comes in because this bow's 31 inches of draw and. I mean, Derek is, look how much taller he is than me. <laughs> I'm 16. So, yeah. Today, so I got, I got stringing cables on it. We cleaned it up good. Y'all look, it don't even look like the same bow. I got the new QCCs on it. Got him stringing cable. Y'all know my deal on the loops. I always like super bright loops, but I didn't have a bright loop that I thought looked good with the stringing cable. So we got all that on there. We got the rest, got it all tuned up. Derek's going to shoot it one time. <coughs> Just so y'all can kind of see the Z9. That's what Derek just shot at. He said, golly, it's quiet. It is quiet. And it really is. This was the same bow as the Z7. It just got nine inches of brace height. What's the draw weight on this thing? Uh, it's 70. Draws pretty Yeah, it did draws really good. It's, it's, it's got a super good valley. So we're going to let her eat. Ready? Yep. Money. Right, what you need. So we're setting Derek's nose button right here. That's bow. perfect right there. That's good. If we're touching it just a little bit. Peep's good. Yep. All right, we're gonna ease it down. We'll do it one more time. <laughs> <laughs> just to make sure. We gotta we gotta make sure. Because uh, once I serve it, look, if y'all don't know, letting a bow down, the worst thing ever. Or it is for me. I hate letting a bow down. I hate that's, it too. That's what that's that's what Derek Once it's back, said. I'm ready to let it ride. Yeah, yeah. Ready, ready, ready to let it eat. So. Let it ride. All right, draw it again. We we just gonna make sure. <laughs> we got him. Slade just wants me to let the bow down. Okay. <laughs> that's all he is. He just laughs because he can't stand it either. So he just wants <laughs> to see him giggling. We got it's him. set where it needs to be. You sure? I'm positive. We'll do it one more time. <laughs> <laughs> it'll it'll move. It looks really good right there. Perfect. Okay. Don't let it slide in it down. <clears throat> yeah. We finished Derek's bow. I got it all ready. Now we got Colin in here. So Colin's got a brand new, this is the CP28 that uh, Bowtech sent him. And uh, yeah, so just pull that yes. there. So I put a rest on it. He already had his sight on it. I got it all tuned up. Now we're trying to make sure we get our we get our peep sight right. Tip your nose. How's the peep? I like it. All right, let her eat. Good. good. 
So you're good left and right. One more time. A little low. Yeah, well, I hit that dot a minute ago. I was aiming a little high. So yeah. I'm guessing it's just, I don't got the sights. Yeah, so right, right. Normally what, what I do with guys, I just want to make sure they're left and right. I mean, obviously he's not super low. I don't, I don't, I don't want them losing errors once they leave here. I might need to rotate that peep just a little bit. That boat's quiet. Shoot it one more time. Rotation's perfect. How's that feel? Good. His elbow's really good. We we'll change the draw length. If you look, his elbow is a perfect, almost a perfect 90 degrees behind him. Looks good. All right, so I got these in yesterday. Block makes this target. This is their big four by four, and I wanted y'all to see this. This is a beast of a target, okay? So I ordered one for a customer. And I got it in, and I ordered another one just in case. You know, it costs so much to ship stuff nowadays. I figured, you know, you might as well go ahead and order two because I feel like I'll, I'll be able to sell them. So if you look, I mean, that that band, it is super-duper tight. They got a big piece of wood. The wood's actually on both sides there, or top and bottom, I should say, there. And then you can see how much they got those layers that's the layers but in the center i had one of these before and i don't know how long we ended up shooting it but man i mean shot it for a long time so i love 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 these targets right here but uh anyway come back here wanted to wanted to show you all that this is gonna about wind this uh this uh, video up today that the guy there at the end colin perry super 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 good young kid he's actually a videographer for uh for major league bow hunting for matt duff and chipper jones and them so botex sends him bows he comes here i have the privilege of setting his bow up but a super super good, cool kid y'all can look him up on instagram colin perry Derek was here uh Derek and i are fishing to get ready and have an archery shoot the tentative plan right now for our archery shoot is going to be August the 20th. So I will kind of let y'all know a little more about it as, uh, as that comes ready. Thinking about doing like a, like a 3D shoot, uh, maybe having like 20 targets. I'm not sure of the location or what I'm going to do yet, but wanted to bring y'all back here, let y'all see these big targets. I got to go out here. I got a crossbow I'm going to work on, uh, a couple other things. So. Appreciate y'all following the Fanchers. God bless. Jesus saves. We out of here. Y'all have a good one.